emboldened by these events. The Chinese, Chen Rolin and Kong Li, they've been first place through the first three rounds, and all they need is a dive in excess of 68.58 points to keep a hold of the top spot. And this is the same dive as the, the same dive the Australians did, and this would be probably the only chance the Australians could take them. Oh, but that was very similar to what the Australians did. Kong Lee had a little bit of water, but it was a little bit better dive than Melissa Wu's from Australia. I think they're going to score higher. It was a very good synchro, though. The Aussies scored 79-6A with a similar, the exact same dive. We'll see what the Chinese get. Wow, even in slow motion. Hard to find too much fault in that. And their score is 91-2-0 and a 10 on the board. And Chenry Lin gets another 10. <laughs> they basically need a 63 point or more yeah. dive, and it's it. That's and their this gold is a, medal. This is a good dive for them. Huh? Oh, well, I thought for a minute there it was going to be a little off. It looked like going into their presses on the, on the takeoff that their timing was a little off, but they came off together and, and worked it out in the bottom. I think it'll definitely be enough to take over the Australians. But for a moment there, I thought maybe. But still another steady performance from the Chinese team of Chen Rulin and Kong Li. The Chinese triumphant again, and they're now six for seven in gold medals at the 2009 Diving World Series stop here in Changzhou, China, thanks to the 86 7-0 dive by Chen Rolin, the double Olympic gold medalist in 2008, and Kong Li, and they win it by a handy margin.